Project Gemini promised to test the limits in order to prove that the United States could make it to the moon. This new program would require a new spacecraft, one too heavy for the Atlas rocket, previously used in Project Mercury. So NASA went in search of a new rocket. The US Air Force had the Titan I, the first intercontinental ballistic missile to launch from an underground silo, and the first two-stage missile. The Titan II followed shortly after, and it was this rocket that NASA had its eyes on. The Titan II checked a lot of boxes for NASA. It had two and a half times the thrust of the Atlas rocket. It was a fairly reliable rocket, a nod to the improving technology and lessons learned during early rocketry. In 1964, the Gemini spacecraft was mated with the Titan II rocket and flight tested. The flight of Gemini Titan I, or GT-1 for short, was so successful that NASA ordered only one more unmanned test flight before the first crewed flight. Gemini Titan III, flown by Gus Grissom and John Young, was the first crewed flight of the Gemini spacecraft and the Titan II rocket, occurring on March 23, 1965. The Titan II rocket wound up launching all 12 Gemini missions between 1964 and 1966.